Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com, and um, I'm clearly not in my normal office. I'm actually um, in a rehab facility. Um, my next videos will probably be shot from here. I was actually um, hit by a car, and I'm okay. I'm recovering. I do have a lot of injuries, um, so I'm going to be here a little bit longer, um, but I definitely wanted to keep coming to you guys with videos, and so here I am. Um, and today I want to talk to you about leadership. So a lot of people ask me like, how do you motivate a team? How do you, how do you do that? Like, how do you get people to be motivated to have these big goals? And um, honestly, I do it by leading by example. I never fluctuate from the basics. So what I mean by that is, you know, whether I have a team of one, or 500, I make sure that I take care of myself first. And that might sound selfish to you, like why the heck would she make sure that she meets her goals first, her personal goals, before she takes care of her team. But really like the best thing I can do for my team is leading them by example. So if I expect something of them, I'm gonna do that thing you know, twofold or threefold or fourfold or make sure that I'm hitting that goal um, clearly. Like that goal is clearly one of my goals and that I am surpassing and hitting that goal. So my team will say, well, if Jillian's doing it, I can do it. Because I think a lot of people, like they get to the point where they're managing, they're saying like, oh, they don't worry about their own business and they're just worrying about everyone else's business. And then you just end up pulling people. And that's not comfortable for anyone because they're saying, well, she's telling me to do this, but she's not actually doing it herself. Um, she's just like pulling me along to do it. And that can become a huge issue. And I think it creates um, a lot of animosity on top of people not being responsive to it. I think people feel like, well, why should I do it if my leader is not doing it? So honestly, um, it's not selfish. But the best thing you can do is really work on your own business harder than you ever have in your entire life and share that with people. Share your ideas with them. Um, share what you're doing. Don't, you know, don't like um, forget about the fact that your business comes first. But you want to be sharing what you're doing. You don't want to like just do it and forget about your team. You need to be sharing what you're doing. You need to be sharing your goals with them. You need to be sharing what's important. You need to be sharing how you move your business forward. The biggest mistake I see people make is, you know, they work really hard to get somewhere, they get there, they have this big team and they just stop. And then they see their business slide backwards. And that's a huge uh -huh. issue. Um, if you do not continue to move your business forward and you do not continue to hit those goals and you do not do what got you there in the first place, you don't continue to do that, you are gonna see a backward spiral. So if you are a leader, you will lead by example. You will show your team how you got to where you are and how you're going to continue the road upward. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to post them below. Um, anyone can be a leader. It is not something that you know, you're born with, um, something that's made. And leading by example is easy. There's a reason you got where you are now and you need to continue growing by continuing to lead by example and continuing to do those same behaviors. Um, so have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.